I had the most insane conversation with a sub the other day and I cannot stop thinking about it. So this sub has a girlfriend, or at least claims to, and basically one of the things they wanted to get into was chastity. And they were like, how do I make my girlfriend want to cage me? And I was like, well, why don't you talk about why you like this? Why don't you get yourself a cage and show them some of my videos or show them some things that you've researched? And they were like, hold up, no, no, that's not happening. Sorry, I had to get my wine because this sub blows my mind. And I just, <sighs> I'm at a loss for words. I'm gonna try and explain this conversation because it makes me want to combust. Anyway, so the sub's like, I'm not gonna tell my girlfriend what I want. Why would I tell her what I want? That's not my fantasy. So basically what they want is for their girlfriend just one day to buy them a cage and to cage them. Okay, and when their girlfriend buys them the cage, they also want to be like, no, 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 don't put that on me. So they want to play that they don't want it on. So not only has this girlfriend to be a mind reader, this girlfriend also has to know that their boyfriend actually wants the thing that they say they don't want. Okay, so I was like, okay, let's maybe not do that. Okay, so right, let's let's just how's your girlfriend going to find out? And I, they were like, well, it would really be cool if they like found something on my computer or my phone. And I was like, okay, so not the best way to do it again, but are you helping your girlfriend? Are you leaving like a cage on the kitchen worktop? You know, like, are you leaving like maybe magazines or, you know, like, do you leave your computer open? No, no. And then I was like, okay, so what's your issue with talking to your girlfriend? And they were like, well, if I told my girlfriend what I wanted, would that not be like topping from the bottom? Would that not make them submissive? <sighs> and I'm very glad I had other people in my chat room when this conversation was happening. So I'm not just making it up. Everyone was completely and utterly dumbfounded at what was being discussed because like, what? <laughs> but this person, this sub, wanted their girlfriend to be a mind reader, didn't want to talk to their girlfriend, and also was going to say no if the thing that they wanted to happen had an opportunity to happen to them. Right, okay, so. And I just keep thinking, and this is why I said they might not have a girlfriend because I do not believe that you can be in a relationship and you can have a partner and be so bad at communicating. Like, you could have like, a hookup buddy, you know, like a little friends with benefits situation that you just basically have sex and don't talk to each other. I could understand that, right? But at some point, if you are living with somebody, you have to talk to them. Like, I, I don't understand the relationship. I think it's weird. But yeah, anyway, for anyone else in this situation, my advice is to research what you want before you involve your partner, I mean, if you have a very good communication and you think your partner's very open to it, explore with them. If not, explore on your own, kind of get a list of things you like and dislike and then be like, hey, could we maybe look at some of this stuff together? Or like, oh, I've seen this on TikTok. This is a cool thing that I want to try or make it like, I want to put a cage on. And I would love if we did that for like an hour or two and like you're in control, like I'll buy dinner and I'll wear the cage. And you know, like there's ways to approach it that maybe aren't like as intense being like, I want you to lock me for the rest of my life and to fully control me. Um, so yeah, like I would advise that you went and gently, such as the dinner idea would be like, hey, I really wanna get myself a cage and I would love if you would like hold the keys and you know, like we'll get dinner and it'll be really cute and then you can take it off when I get home and ooh, ooh, ooh. You know, you get like, ooh, do you like my little sound? Anyway, <laughs> do not be like the guy who just expects his girlfriend to know what he wants without ever speaking to her. Because if he spoke to her, it would ruin the fantasy. So therefore, the fantasy will never happen. Cheers. <sighs>